Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc, and today we're going to take a look at the Script AI. However, we're going to work on it specifically to target timings so that you can learn how to time certain things to happen at certain times. So what we've got here. I've got the Bastion parked over here on the side, and then I've got this student driver Covet parked here at the top. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to record the two different AI paths uh, in order to just get the flow of where they're going to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit F11. That is going to bring up the world editor. From the world editor, you're going to go to the window menu at the top. You're going to come down to gameplay. And in gameplay, there is the script AI manager. Now, when that pops up, you should get a window that shows up here and you're going to have your two vehicles. You're going to have the Bastion and the Hatch in my case. You'll notice that the Bastion is the one with the orange dot. That means that's the one I'm currently focused on. Okay, so good to know. All right, so the other thing we want to do, it's up to you whether you want to display the path or not. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and check that. And that way you can see what that looks like. Then in order to start recording, then we're just going to hit record and start driving. Now, as you start driving, you'll notice that the camera doesn't follow the vehicle. So shift C will put you back into camera mode and this will allow you to record the path you want. So I'm just going to record myself going down this road and then we'll stop when we get to the bridge. All right, now, once you're done, you hit stop, and you'll notice that now, because I have the path checked, that it shows that I have, in this case, it's a, a turquoise path. So I can go to more, and I can tell it to reset the vehicle. So when you start out, if you click on more, you may see loop, you may see debug, and then you've got these offsets and delays. So uh, I'm going to tell it to reset the vehicle, which means reset the vehicle back to the start. If you hit reset recording, that means delete the recording you just did. Let's not do that. Looping means that when it gets to the end, it's going to start back over again. I recommend not doing that um, because we just want this to be a, a once through uh, run through. So I've got the bastion taken care of. Now I want to go and I want to do the clone. So I can just click over here on the clone. And once again, I can go to more and make sure it's not on loop. We're good to go there. I'm going to hit record. I'm going to start driving. Whoops. And we can follow the vehicle here. And we're just going to pretend that the student driver ignores the stop sign completely. <laughs> it drives around the corner. Now that's, this is going to be interesting to see what the AI does with this, but that's okay. All right. And then once we get to somewhere up in here, I'm going to stop. Now I could technically stop anywhere I want to, but this just gives us some playroom. All right. So I'm going to go back up here and we're going to reset this. All right. So now we have the two paths recorded. The question is, do they line up? And so to check that out, then you can go to play all. And when you hit play all, you'll notice that both of their progress will start to go. And uh, we're currently behind the covet, so that's fine. So what I'm looking to, to see is where, okay. So there goes the bastion. And yes, as a matter of fact, we do crash into that wall. All right, so the bastion crossed by us, um, what, a few seconds before, not really, well, about a few seconds before. So I can go to the Bastion and more, and you'll notice that there's a delay start. If you, now, if this is a little weird, you have to click once and then click again. Actually, double click, but let's just do that. Let's say double click. So now when I double click, I'm going to delay the start enough so that when this car, when the Covet comes down the hill, it's going to smash into the Bastion. So <clears throat> if we look at uh, gearing about how long it took, um, we'll just say 1.5 seconds. So I type 1.5 and that's going to give me 1.5 seconds delay start of the Bastion. So again, I can go reset the vehicles. And then we hit play. 
Now, right now, I am just kind of in the editor mode. I will show you how you actually would, uh, you know, kind of do this for real if you want to watch it. But right now, we're just trying to get our timings done. Okay, that is a little too much of a delay, so I'm just going to stop. So we notice that now the covet gets there much faster. Now I could play around and I could delay the covet more, but that to me is ludicrous. Um, I would just double click this. And so instead of 1.5 seconds, uh, I'll tell you what, let's just do one second and we'll see how this works. If it turns out that this is now uh, still too slow. That is, now that we've got it set at a second, the Bastion misses, then we know the correct time is somewhere between one and one and a half. Oh, that was actually not too bad. Um, but I, I, for me, oh, look at there, we got fire and everything. Uh, but for me, I still think that uh, I, I'm, I'm looking more for uh, kind of a T-bone. So uh, I know that uh, one second is actually still too much of a delay. So I'm going to do maybe 0.75 seconds. Reset, reset, play this. And essentially what you're, wanna, what you're gonna want to do is work through these timings until you get the exact situation that you're looking for. This really comes in handy. Oh, ooh, nope, that's a little... That's a little too fast, actually. So in that case, it's not quite enough. And that's actually a good thing because we know that one second was a little too long, right? But 0.75 is too too quick. So maybe 0.85, sure, let's try that. <laughs> I have no idea. This is how you know I'm doing this live because uh, <laughs> I, I did not pre predetermine what this was going to look like. Um, but if you're trying to recreate an actual crash and you know the timings, then you can. Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, so now I've got the situation pretty much right where I want it to go. So once you've got this, now I can reset the vehicles. And the way that I normally do this for real-time play is, um, as far as I know, there's not a way to control this through like a, a UI or anything. So what I do is I make sure that I hit J to pause the physics, then go ahead and start the playback. But you'll notice that they are not playing because I've got the physics paused. I'm going to hit F11 to get out of the world editor. And then, oh, uh, and then I can unpause physics. And so now the physics are unpaused. Now I still have the track on the screen um, just because I'm still kind of troubleshooting. But I'll show you how you get rid of that here in just a second. But look at that. Mm, oh, yeah. Beautiful T-bone into the side of the bastion who goes flying into the tree. Oh, that is fantastic. All right. I mean, not if you're in the bastion, right? But anyway, we can stop this. Uh, okay, so again, if I go to more reset vehicle, more reset vehicle. Remember down here, there's the display path. I can uncheck display path. That way the path is gone uh let's see okay i got the flowers moving around so i can hit j that's going to pause the physics shift c will shift me back to the camera i mean shift c will shift the camera back to the vehicle i can hit play f11 notice now i do not have the track on the screen i can also do alt u and i can hide the ui altogether by the same token I could use tab and now I am in the, or I'm, I'm following the bastion. Let's go into the driver's seat by hitting C one time. J will unfreeze the physics. And now we are in the bastion driving along, minding our own business. When all of the sudden there's a car coming out of the corner and slam. 
Oh, that time it even rolled over. Now, one of the downsides to the AI script playback, it's not easy to replicate the situation, which is really a bummer. Um, I'm, and, and I'm not sure what you would even do about that, uh, to be perfectly honest. Let's see, am I paused here? I think I'm already paused. Yeah. All right. So I'm already paused. Uh, and actually in this particular case, oh, well, there we go. Uh, what I was going to say was I'm in free cam, but I wasn't. So as, as with any time you're recording stuff, you can free cam all you want to and then unpause the physics and basically hang out here on the corner until things happen. So here we go. The COVID over the hill. The bastion coming up here and oh they slam into each other and again you see this time the the covet did not flip upside down and the bastion ended up over here in the woods so that's kind of one of the downsides it's not an exact science um and i don't quite understand that because you would think that theoretically i mean if it's got the same ai path then the results should always be the same, but they're not. That's really neither here nor there. The main thing that I was wanting to show you was that you can come in here and you can change the uh, offsets and the delays. Now, what's I don't... Okay, so the start offset means that it cuts that many seconds from the start versus delaying the start. So uh, essentially, you can use the start offset to speed up the start of your uh, progress, the start of your playback versus the delay, meaning, you know, hold back the start. So you can use those to adjust things as you need to, want to, as it applies to your situation. Oh, and these dudes are still playing back because I, uh, I didn't stop them. Didn't stop them at all. All right, so we reset the vehicle. Now, here's the other cool thing about... Uh, all of this is that you can save the recording, uh, the path recording. So for example, if I want to save this, I can click the save icon and I could call this, um, maybe, uh, East coast USA bastion. And then I don't know, whatever, um, zero one. All right. And then I could do the same thing with the clone. I could call this, um, I can't remember what I called the other one. I don't know. East Coast USA COVID 01 so that I know they go together. And then later I could come back in here and I could load any of the recordings that I have saved. And so at any time I could bring these back and I could, uh, you could record them, you could play them, you can do whatever you want to. So what's really cool about this is you can actually do this for as many vehicles as you want. I could pop in, you know, another vehicle or three more vehicles or whatever and play with the recordings and timings so that I have these scripted collisions that happen uh, in the game. So very cool stuff. I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's so awesome what you can do in BeamNG. And I think I'm actually going to, let's sit out here. So one of the other things I could do is I could, you know, while it's playing back, I can also slow things down so that we can see in slow motion exactly what happens in this particular collision. We see the student driver runs the stop sign and the bastion just plows straight into the side of the vehicle, which is kind of the opposite T-bone that I was looking for, but you know what? Hey, it works. <laughs> you, can, you can, your mileage may vary. So anyhow, there you go. Uh, I hope that helps with getting into the AI script manager and using the offset and delay to time things that you're wanting to happen exactly to your specifications. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, feel free to leave those down in the 
comment section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, Connie C, and Zachary for supporting the channel on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Mm. That is absolutely gorgeous. And why we play Beam and G. Look at that. Man, these are getting like more violent the more times I replay them. What's up with that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, anyway, hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm David and Ark. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.